Hey guys, it's Finn from The Better Gentleman, and today we're doing a camera comparison test between the S20 Ultra Note 10 Plus and the S10. The S20 Ultra does have a whole new camera array, while the Note 10 Plus just has an additional depth sensor that the S10 did not have. Nonetheless, I think the results will surprise you, especially because when people look at the S20 Ultra, they mainly talk about like the specs. And while the specs may be awesome, yeah, it's got a 108 megapixel camera and stuff like that, that doesn't always result in the best image. And if you would like to see full size photos, I'll post a link down below with the actual photos that I use for this camera comparison. On the screen, the images will be displayed in this order. The Ultra will have the photo on the left, the Note will have the photo in the middle, and the S10 will be the photo on the right. Each will be given a score of one to three, the highest point at the end wins. Please note that these are my opinions and feel free to disagree with them and let me know in the comments. Real quick, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. All right, so in this photo, we have a wide angle shot. And I think the ultra wins over here, which is, again, the photo on the left. The Note and S10 dramatize the clouds just a bit too much. The ultra might look like it's being on the softer side, but that's actually what the clouds look like on that day. Also, the ground is just too warm on the S and Note 10. It kind of like makes it look a bit fake. The S10 is more vibrant than the Note 10, so I'll place it in second place for this one. So first place, we have the Galaxy Ultra. Second place, we have the S10. And third place on this one, we have the Note 10 Plus. Alrighty, guys, so this is the shot from the main lens. And in this one, the S10 did a great job at color detection. It correctly identified the separate colors of the two trees in the back. However, it made the foreground too yellow, and it had too much red in the mulch. The Note 10 did an okay job with the trees, but it's not as good as the S10. However, it is a more balanced and natural shot. The Ultra in this one is too dramatic in the foreground, and it loses too much detail in the clouds this time. For this one, I prefer the Note, and then the S10, and then lastly, the Ultra. Alright, so this photo is a little bit tricky. All three are at 2x zoom here, and the Ultra does get more detail than the other two. It does have a lot of contrast, but it doesn't ruin the photo. The Note 10 is just a little bit too washed out when it comes to the trees, and the S10 does a better job, but it doesn't have the same amount of detail the Ultra does in the foreground. For example, the rocks are more identifiable in the Ultra shot. So in this case, the Ultra is giving the best shot, but it's only marginally better than the S10, and the Note comes in last. And this photo is just to show what the Ultra can do. The telephoto lens is really good, and it captures a lot of detail. And I would argue that sometimes this lens is better than the main lens that the camera has. And also, I want to point out that some reviewers are saying that the 30x images are usable, but I find that to be really hit or miss. Mostly the images are good until 10x, but then after that, the quality goes down. All right, this is another wide angle shot. I think the Ultra has the best image and overall natural look. And I feel like in this case, the Note and S10 are both trying to overcompensate with software. Another thing to note is that the Ultra has a slightly better shape correcting software than the other two. And the Note fares slightly better than the S10. So in this case, the Ultra gets the top spot followed by the Note and the S10 in last. All right, so this shot was captured by the main lens on all three of these. And interestingly enough, in this image, the Ultra is too saturated and too warm. It might look better to your eyes, but this isn't actually what the scene actually looked like. The Note 10 does a better job. It's not too saturated, and even though it's not 100% accurate, it's still a very pleasing shot. The S10 surprisingly has the most natural look. This will be a toss-up depending on your preferences, but to me, the S10 and the Note 10 are giving a much better and more realistic image than the Ultra is. So I'll leave the Note 10 and the S10 as a tie, and the Ultra comes in last place. Alright, so this is at 2x zoom. Over here, the S10 has a more natural shot, and this is kind of similar to the last photo, but the Ultra is too warm, and I feel like in this one, the Note is actually oversaturated. It'll come down to personal preference again, but I think the S10 wins with the Note and Ultra tying for second place. This one is again just an example of the zoom capabilities of the Ultra. This is another wide angle shot, and the Ultra may seem a bit faded in the clouds, but in this case, it is accurate. And similar to the last set, you can make out the differences between the trees. Overall, it just has more detail than the other two. The note appears to have a flatter image, but it dramatizes the clouds just a bit too much. It's a good image as well, but just not as good as the Ultra. The S10 is too saturated and just too dramatic. However, the S10 does a far better job at differentiating the trees than the Note does. 
In this case, the Ultra wins, then the Note 10 Plus, just very marginally beating out the S10. This image is at 1x. The Ultra wins again as it is more natural and keeps the most amount of detail. The Note is not as good just because it's warming up the image a bit too much. The S10 is just a bit too dark and it's overcompensating with a saturation. However, all three of these are giving great images. It's just one is just very slightly better than the next. So in this case, the Ultra gets first place, Note 10 gets second place, and S10 gets third place. Alrighty, and this is at 2x. And these were shot from the same distance. However, it may look a little bit different due to the placement of the camera on each device. I think in this instance, the Ultra just made the image way too bright. Also, I want to point out that it gave me a very tough time focusing, and this was the best shot I could get out of it. I feel like the Note is giving us the most balanced image, while the S10 is just a little bit too oversaturated. So my ranking for this one, the Note, the S10, and then the Ultra, just mainly because it gave me such a hard time to like even focus on this. Alright, so this one is at 5x. The Ultra had captured a great image here and it did a great job at providing a bokeh effect. However, it took way too much effort to get this shot. Like I had to take this photo like at least 10 times. The Note, on the other hand, is doing really good as well. It's doing a great job at capturing the shadows. The S10 is a great image too, but it's just a little oversaturated in my opinion. And it does produce a nice image, but it's just not natural. And I feel like that's kind of like a trend with the S10. And I feel like overall the Ultra came out with the best image, but it just had way too many issues with focusing. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Note 10, and then the Ultra, and then the S10. Alright, and this one is a 10x zoom. The Ultra does have a more detailed image, and it's not pixelated like the others. The focus just kept messing me up again, and also in general, it just has a very shallow like field of view. The Note, on the other hand, was able to capture the whole plant, and the entire image is very balanced. And once again, the S10 is giving us a nice image. It's just not how this whole scene looked like in reality. Like, it's just a bit oversaturated and too much contrast. It's like you have a filter over the actual image. I feel like the Note is still giving us a more balanced shot, even though it is a little bit more pixelated. But I'm still going to go ahead and give it, like, first place. Second place, I'm going to give it to the Ultra. But I really shouldn't just because it had such an issue, like, focusing on it. And in last place, I'm putting the S10. Uh, just because it just seems like a stylized shot. All right, here I have the 30x and the 100x from the Ultra. It's just to show how awesome the zoom is on the Ultra. You can see that it did have some issues with like smoothing and focusing, but overall, it's just pretty cool that a phone camera can do something like this. And when you get to 100x, it does look like it's a digital render, but it's just really, really cool to have that. And so now we're going to tally up our scores. But real quick, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. All right, last place goes to the S10 with 19 points, winning a total of two images. And second place goes to the S20 Ultra that had a total of 23 points and won a total of five images. And finally, in first place by a single point is the Note 10 Plus that came in with 24 points. And it won a total of 5 images as well, but it held up a little bit better in some scenarios than the Ultra. And kind of reflecting with my experience with the camera on the Ultra, I, I do agree with this, that even though the Ultra in some cases just like comes out with like an amazing shot, it really lacks consistency. Like in my test, it came pretty close to the note, but I had to try a whole lot harder to get these shots with the Ultra than I did with any of the other phones. Like the Ultra is the only one I had to like take multiple shots with. Like the other ones, like that was just the shot I got on the first try. Like the Ultra, like in sometimes, like I was taking like 10, 15 shots just to go ahead and get it to focus and line up properly. And honestly, if we're just comparing cameras, I would still pick the S10 over the Ultra just because the Ultra had so many issues. And again, you can feel free to like disagree with me on it. Like if you do agree, disagree, just leave it down below in the comments. Let me know. And if you would like to see like the actual like full size images, I'll leave a link to my drive down below as well. And if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like. And for more content like this, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.